Back to more flood-related news now. The search for the nine-year-old boy who washed away in flood waters in August Town St. Andrew yesterday was called off today. Among the reasons for calling off the search was the lack of heavy-duty equipment to carry out more detailed searches. But residents, with help from the police, did what they could to find the boy. Kirk Wright has details. August Town St. Andrew, usually a fractured community with gang wars, but on Thursday, the residents were united with one aim, searching for a nine-year-old who was washed away on Wednesday by heavy waters. The, the, the police and inspector from August Town and the, the mother of the, and other relatives, we started at a bridge in August Town at six o'clock. The search started shortly after the boy was swept away Wednesday afternoon and ended late in the night. Yesterday, uh, because we had a lot of water still flowing through the channel and it was quite murky, um, and we had different drop points and they were quite deep, some of them as much as 10 feet plus deep. Uh, we, when the fire services came, they came with ropes, so we were able, better able to lower a person. But even as we attempted to do that, we, we, we decided against it because of just how murky the water was. So it would have been difficult for anyone to even attempt. But bad lighting, uh, poor lighting, so that's one of the challenges we will have as well. Thursday morning, residents formed a group and started an intense search of the Hope River. From the section in August Town to as far as Harborview, where it enters the ocean desperately looking for any sightings of the boy or any of his belongings, including school bag, pieces of clothing, or the shoes he was wearing. He was not wearing his uniform. He was wearing a red vest or a marina, as some people call it, and a black shorts with stripes on the side. Uh, he, we found uh, a one foot of brown socks that some people theorize that might be his because it was relatively new and about the size of, and so his, nap, his backpack, which is a blue knapsack really, that too we're searching for. Went in, in deep hole, we have to jump on one of the man named back, drop in a hole, slide, swim out, swim out, everything. The residents, some of whom never knew the boy, searched relentlessly. Even in debris lodged at different sections along the channel where the heavy waters traveled, in many instances, they were without proper gear, putting their own health at risk. I'm a mother, you know. I'm a mother. He's a father. He's a youngster. You understand? And I would like to know. Because I would like to know that my child get washed away and I don't get any help. So to, to look for him, so I have to help. I've been at this from last night. From I come from school yesterday. I've been in the river, in the gully, everywhere looking for the little child. Even when they ask, come, come, we are turning back. We say, make we go look if we see him. Now, this drain, which is approximately two feet wide, and exactly at this spot is where little Kyle Richards was said to be playing in the water and got washed away. Now, this drain leads to a gully, and the gully filters out into the Hope River. Council of the Papine Division, Venetia Phillips, asked that the channel where the boy fell be covered to prevent similar occurrences in the future. Because remember, here so was not an issue. But because the water flowing heavily and fast, it just carried him. You get what I'm saying? So my thing is to grill it. The residents hope to continue their search Friday, but now they're asking for help with heavy-duty equipment. Kingston's mayor, Delroy Williams, gave some commitment. The mayor also reminded persons to be careful while searching the bed of the Hope River. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.